Well, everybody, something absolutely crazy happened. And honestly, I was very speechless when I discovered that this was actually the case. I still, at this point, do not know what to say. But the developers of Call of the Wild have put a mission in the game that is named after me. And at first, I wasn't sure if it actually was. Like, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, that's cool. There's a Scarecrow mission. But I assumed, you know, it's Halloween, so of course something's going to be relating to Scarecrow. Then after talk with Jaxie, it turns out this mission is named after me. Spooky Scarecrow. Spot any animal while they are fleeing. Only the first spotting of an individual counts. When I realized that this actually was a mission named after me and got confirmation of that, I, I didn't know how to feel, to be honest. I, I guess the best way to put it is, like, I, I feel humbled. Like, I just... I, I don't know. <laughs> it's just so crazy to think that I have a mission named after me in this game. My One of my favorite games of all time, the game that I play here on the channel the most, and they put a mission in the game that's named after me. I just cannot believe it. So we're going to be completing that today. We're going to do our best to complete this. And you know, the more I thought about it, this mission does fit me so well. And so I see why they did it like this. Because, let's be honest, I'm a grinder. I spook off more animals than I shoot because I'm trophy hunting. So, all right, we got to spot all these. We got to spot all these. This should, this should count because this is the first spotting for all of these. We'll see. But, uh, you know, it's kind of like my play style. I'm a fast paced player, so I spook off a lot of animals. As long as the animal that I'm targeting doesn't spook, then that's the only thing that I really care about whenever I'm grinding. So it makes sense that this is the type of mission that they would name Spooky Scarecrow. Let's go ahead and get that guy, and then we just gotta wait for these to run off. This is honestly gonna be pretty easy to complete. I mean, we can honestly just shoot near those guys, and then we'll have a few more that we can spot. There we go. So we're gonna be completing this very quickly, I think, so this video will not just be completing this challenge. We're probably gonna try and complete a few of the other ones as well. I know there's one for brain-shotting animals, so... We're definitely going to do that one as well. This video is going to be going up the same morning that I recorded, so this mission is still active if you want to get into the action and complete it as well. We are already three tiers through. We just need two more, a total of uh, 13 more animals spotted while they're fleeing. And then we will have completed all of this mission. So it's a really easy one to complete. All you really got to do is shoot one animal from the group and then just wait to spot the others. Don't spot them until they've started running away. All right, so let's go ahead and take down this guy right here. And now we're going to wait for these ones to run. And there we go. We spotted four more. That should get us to the next tier. And there we go. Spooky Scarecrow tier four. Uh, we should have a couple more herds of this area. To be honest, I should have reset the time and uh, waited for the second herd in this zone to appear. But I wasn't thinking about it. So we'll, uh, we'll get them when we go over to claim the one across once we can get him to show up in his zone. And there we go. Man, that is a tiny fallow deer, but he's in a main zone, so we got to go ahead and take him down, no matter how tiny he is. Now, let's go ahead and spot all of these. There we go. We got them all spotted. So, if I'm not mistaken, we should only need, like, one more big zone. Yeah, five more deer. I think we can do that pretty quickly. We should have five deer in the zone that we're about to take a look at. Because uh, the zone that we just shot out of typically has two herds, and I only waited for one of them to show up. Yeah, there's the other herd right there. There's the other herd right there. Um, she's already running off. Okay, so I could complete this if I just don't shoot any of these bucks, but obviously I want to take them down. So let's go ahead and shoot those guys. And then we're going to go ahead and spot those two does as they run away. Uh, spot that one, even though I'm pretty sure that she already uh, got spotted as she was running away the first time, so I think that that one right there is not going to count. Okay, so there is a few more fallow deer in this zone. However, they are not in a good spot, so I'm going to have to shoot near them to get the buck to move. But this will not uh, spook them, so we'll still have to spook them off like that. And this should be mission completed for the Spooky Scarecrow Challenge. 
Let's get over there. Usually after we fast travel, I get the pop-up telling me that I completed it. Also, I just hit my microphone. Don't know if that came through, but it is what it is. And there we go. Scarecrow or Spooky Scarecrow Tier 5 has been completed. Let's go ahead and claim all the rewards. Honestly, this is going to be some of the easiest money you will have ever earned in game. Uh, so it's showing to claim for Tier 5, but we're going to be claiming Tier 1 first. Oh, I guess we claimed Tier 5 first. 3,500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000. Yeah, you get a lot of money for that. You get quite a bit of money for that. So that is definitely a good one to do. We also have this, uh, is, a, is this a zombie game mission? And we've got the Happy Howl Oween. We'll probably do the zombie one, at least the first couple tiers of it for the rest of the video. Honestly, I feel like this is going to be a lot easier to get the brain shots on. So we're over here on Hirschfelden now. Let's see, do we have another site? No, I just have the Hyperion. Ah, uh, we're just gonna make do with it. Let's see if we can manage to actually get our brain shots from this far away using the Hyperion scope. It's gonna be a little tough, but I think we can probably do it if we try. However, first we got some that are a little bit closer. Question is, will I be able to hit a uh, side-facing brain shot? It's gonna be tough, but I think we've got it. And we most certainly do. That is our first brain shot of the day. That one is also a brain shot. Okay, this is going to be a lot easier than I thought it would. This is actually going to be very, very easy, I think. That guy is occupied. Did we get it? No, we did not get the brain shot on that guy. That's a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Can't get them all. Question is, can we get these? Um, yeah, we can. Okay, I gotta make sure I don't shoot anymore, though. I don't want to delete this zone. This is actually a really good zone. Uh, that, unfortunately, was the next shot, but this one was indeed a brain shot. So that's our first tier completed on the uh, not a zombie game challenge or I guess it's called is this a zombie game challenge I, I don't know why I keep calling it not a zombie game yeah it's called is this a zombie game but anyway we got tier one completed and we got two more of them down right here that were both brain shots as far as I could tell and this one is indeed a brain shot nice little European bison female you know, this is also going to be a good look at the European bison with their true racks because we really have not hunted them since they got true racks put on them. So maybe we can manage to get some good spawns from this. Really hoping we can. That is another brain shot. It's definitely really easy to get the brain shots on these things. So I would recommend do some type of bison species if you want to complete this challenge. Trying to get these guys' attention, but they just don't seem to care. At least the ones that I'm looking at right now don't seem to care. Now he's alerted, so let's see if we can tell the female to get out of the way. And of course he turns now because she took too long. Oh man. Here we go. And that will be a brain shot. The question is, can we get any others? So we're going to try a few running shots and see if we can just get a sneaky little headshot in there. It, it feels so weird to be targeting brain shots. I never attempt to go for the brain. Because, you know, you're not going to get full score when you go for it. So, most of the time, I try to avoid headshots. But in this case, we're supposed to go for them. And I honestly don't know how I'm supposed to uh, lead in these types of situations. Like, where do I need to aim to lead it into a brain shot? I mean, I guess that works right there. Oh, I don't know what I hit there, but it dropped her. Yeah, I don't know. Whenever I try to, to lead the brain shot when they're running, it never works out. I suppose it's possible that I was leading it a little bit too much. In fact, that's most likely the reason that we weren't hitting those shots. But, you know, the second they slow down a little bit, we're actually able to hit them, thankfully. So let's see what we got here. Yeah, that's a next shot. I kind of figured that that one was not going to be brain. This one I do think is a brain shot, though. And yes, it is. That is a brain shot right there. Love to see it. Can we get this? Yes, we can. We nailed that brain shot right there. 
There we go. The brain shot on that little level four. That is a 123.34. Would have been a gold. In fact, that's really close to diamond. Hey, I, I'm starting to regret shooting these level fours in the head, man. <laughs> All right. I went ahead and uh, got a different loadout. So we've got ourselves the, uh, the Argus scope now, which will make this a little bit easier. Now, let's just wait for this one to stop moving. And that's going to be a brain shot on her. Now, the main reason I got this Argus out is because we've got a lot of long range targets to go for now. And oh, no, we missed it. We missed the brain shot. We got it that time, though. Okay, so I'm glad that that guy just stopped there. Because it allowed us to actually get that brain shot. This is going to be the tough one, though. 328 meters away. Yeah, like I said, that was going to be the tough one. And we did not get it. There is the close range one that we managed to get. A nice little brain shot to that female right there. Let's see. How far along are we now? We just need one more to get tier three completed. Also, because we've walked far enough away, the ones uh, in the zone that we were on top of have finally rendered in, which means we can go for a couple right here. And also, I am starting to think that we are actually having shots go through part of the uh, European bison. I think the like fluff on their shoulders I think it's not letting us hit that. Like, the flesh on the shoulders does not seem to let us hit. Let's see. Yeah, it just goes right through it. So that's a little bit of a problem. I mean, it's not really going to affect us because, I mean, you're not supposed to shoot them that high anyway. But it is a little bit odd. So here's the one that we just took down. Let's go ahead and take a look at that shot. Yep, another nice little brain shot. That should complete tier three. And then we've got one more floater coming over here. And there we go, tier three completed. And you know what? I think we're gonna go ahead and end the video there because I don't have a lot of time to edit this and get it up before it'll be like my normal upload time. It's currently 11.03 a.m. Pacific Standard Time as I'm finishing up this recording. And uh, usually I upload my videos between 12 and 1 p.m. So I've got like two hours to get this out. So uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end this video here. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to leave a comment down below. And also just let me know what you think of the fact that there's a Scarecrow mission in this game. I still can't believe that that is a thing. And man, it has been so much fun being able to be a part of this and to get to complete it here for this video as well as part of this zombie one it's been an absolute blast so thank you to expansive worlds once again yeah i mean they didn't have to do that they did not have to do something like that but i really do appreciate it it's just it's crazy to see thank you all so much for watching if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and i will see you all in the next one peace